you guys, this is Amanda Ferry, and I'm going to show you how to distress your clothing. This is exactly what you're going to need. Um, I don't know what to say to all this. <laughs> I think this stuff is super cute. You're going to use need a utility knife, scissor, razor, and cardboard. Okay, so you're going to take your shirt, you're going to figure out if you want to make it a crop top, and then you're going to cut it to make it a crop top. This stuff is all way too fast for me. <laughs> and you're going to use the cardboard under the shirt to get your rip effects. So you're going to use it with a razor, and you're going to rip across... Well, you're going to razor down across things and it's going to give you these holes which you're going to have to stretch later on and you're going to do this all over the shirt it doesn't matter if you make them in lines however you make them if you add enough it's not going to give any of a bad effect it's going to actually make it look amazing you're going to want to move the cardboard around constantly be prepared to have like extra cardboard laying around because you're using the edge of it against the razor to cut in and make these distressed marks. And my shoulder keeps getting in the way because I don't know how to film yet. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I'm just gonna keep doing this and you're not gonna be able to see anything until I like really pretty much move, but I'm telling you what, what I'm doing the whole way. Luckily, I got some pictures of it. Next time, I promise you guys, it'll be so much better than this. <laughs> yeah, so here, this is exactly what you need to do right here. You need to use the razor to razor down the sides anywhere on the shirt to create the holes. And I, I, this has been going on for forever. This is a very long whole tutorial right there. <laughs> Jesus, this is forever. No wonder I cut most of this shit out. Okay, so now I'm showing you the shirt. So this is the shirt with the holes and you gotta stretch them. Make sure you stretch them. If you don't stretch them, if you don't stretch them, it's gonna make it look really weird. So all you wanna do is just stretch those holes out to give the illusion of like old tired effect. Stretch, stretch, stretchity stretch. Gotta stretch those shirts out. Stretchity stretch, stretchity stretch. And now there's a lot of dead space in this video. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do next. Now we're gonna add holes to the bottom of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what you're gonna need is a razor oh blade. Boop, boop. Let's say hello to our friend, Mr. Razor Blade. It's a utility knife, I know that. No, it's not a razor blade. It's a utility knife. We used razor blades in the earlier one. I'm just being stupid and just saying whatever over this because I don't know um, what I need to say to this. Because it's so weird to me to like just talk over a video because I wanted this to be great. But obviously, it's one of my first ones. So none of this stuff is going to be amazing. And I'm so grateful that you guys are being so patient about this. Because I don't know what I'm doing whatsoever. So pretty much, I got bored. And I didn't feel like showing you the rest of this. So we're going to transition. And uh, yeah, we're going to just show you the, the thing fully done. And it was a really bad transition over. I know. I just thought it was still funny because it was so bad. I thought it was hilarious. So I left it in there. But yeah, so this is my shirt. I love it. You can add holes anywhere. More holes, the better. Yay! <laughs> and I like to add holes everywhere. Trust me. 
Here's how I really make my own shirts. I don't at all sit at a table and do it. I usually just sit there watching TV and drinking wine normally. I'm surprised I wasn't doing that in this one, but I literally just watch TV and just distress shirts on the floor.
watching.